Hey everyone, welcome to this weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast for the week of August 2nd through the 8th of 2021. All right, so this week we are ending the current lunar month. We're going to have a new moon on Sunday at the end of the week. And so it is a good week, especially as we approach the weekend for completing some things, finalizing things, and turning a little bit more inward to, uh, to complete and maybe release some things from this uh, previous cycle to gear up for what will be a fresh new start, um, mostly next week. Now this week, uh, we do have a lot of planets starting to uh, shift into Leo. Uh, Mercury and the Sun will be going into Leo. So this is adding to more of that expressive nature. We've already had Venus and Mars here, which has been great for that more interpersonal and relationship, expressive energy, having fun, playfulness, creative self-expression, but even more of that as these planets start to stagger into there. So Mercury will shift into expressive Leo on Wednesday and then the Sun on Friday, which will gear up for that new moon in Leo, uh, which will start a whole new cycle around self-expression. Now this week we have quite a few aspects taking place, uh, mostly with Uranus. So around Tuesday, Venus will be trining Uranus, which means it could be good for some new and exciting energy in our relating life or just enjoying different and more spontaneous types of things. Uh, but there's a bit of a caution with that collectively because both Mercury and the Sun will be squaring Uranus this week. Squares tend to be a little bit more with Uranus, a bit erratic, a bit impulsive. And so just bring, being a little bit mindful when it comes to the communications with that around Tuesday and just in general around Friday when the sun squares Uranus, finding healthy ways of inducing some change and letting out that individual self-expression and spontaneity in constructive ways. All right, so that's the most important stuff. So let's go and take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here is the sky for this week. Again, this is for August 2nd through the 8th of 2021. And as you can see here, we are using the visible sky called True Sidereal Astrology. It does change the signs from mainstream astrology, so you will notice a lot of the signs are different in this system. So if you do notice that, definitely check out the link down below for more information on using the visible sky called True Sidereal Astrology. All right, so let's go ahead and break this down um, one day at a time here. I do want to bring your attention to the most important shifts that we have this week. This is essentially the Sun and Mercury starting to finish up Cancer. Uh, it has been good these past few weeks for focusing a little bit more on creating a protective environment for ourselves and others. Uh, it's been great to care for ourselves and others, nurture ourselves and others. Um, it's been more of that emotional protective um, kind of energy with, of course, the mix of Leo, which is the self-expression. But these planets are going to be shifting into Leo uh, throughout the week. Again, uh, Wednesday for Mercury and Friday for the Sun as we do finish up this protective Cancerian energy. All right, so let's go ahead and start with... Um, with Monday here, the moon will be in Taurus for three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. These first three days of the week are good for a little bit of uh, grounding energy. Good to connect to things like nature, uh, some grounding things, uh, sensual things, good meals, relaxation, all right, getting into that abundance of life, but uh, also cultivating that inner abundance. Uh, could be a good time for doing things that involve self-reliance, uh, resourcefulness, and again, more of that slow and steady one step at a time, stopping to smell the roses um, type of energy with Moon and Taurus, where the Moon really does like to be here. Now, as you can see, we do have quite a few aspects taking place this week. Um, on Monday, the Sun will be easing up off of an opposition with Saturn. So as we are approaching Monday, mostly on Sunday, uh, there maybe was some balance needed with responsibilities, um, some taking care of some things, but a lot of that is starting to ease up less let's say limitation or having to be persevering or patient if you were feeling it. Usually oppositions aren't that challenging, but a little bit of balance with that has been good, balancing the discipline and responsibilities. But that's easing up as we get into uh, Monday. And as we start to get to the later part of Monday into Tuesday, we start these Uranus uh, aspects here. And the first one is quite supportive. It involves Venus, the planet of relating in our enjoyments in life. And so this is great to mix some things up uh, late Monday into Tuesday, maybe new relationship energy, 
uh, connecting with those we maybe normally wouldn't connect with or those that we would normally connect with in completely different ways. So a little bit of excitement, a little bit of getting outside that comfort zone, mixing things up a little bit in terms of what we're enjoying, in terms of what we're valuing. And uh, those relationships, I think, can go a long ways. As a minor aspect to that, Mercury will be trining Chiron, the healing comet. And so communication and sharing ideas and even just learning could actually be quite healing and therapeutic uh, throughout that time period. Now, once we do get to the later part of um, Tuesdays, where we start to get to the more challenging energies with erratic Uranus, and the first one is with Mercury, the planet of our minds and communication. So late Tuesday, early Wednesday, good to bring extra conscious awareness to the mind, to the communication, because sometimes collectively this can be a bit erratic. Uh, there might be some communications out of left field. We may see, we may say something in an, on an impulse or rashly. So bringing extra attention to that and seeing that there is, of course, ways to, to communicate in different ways, uh, to challenge ourselves, to uh, you know, think outside the box, um, do some things that maybe feel a little bit more like getting that true self out um, in constructive ways through the communication, but with that conscious awareness. Again, the squares do tend towards more of the imbalances, and some of the imbalances with Uranus is a little bit rash, a little bit impulsive, um, sometimes wanting to break free. So constructive communication and thinking in a way that's progressive and future-oriented, but with that mindfulness as well. All right, and then while we get into uh, Wednesday, we'll still have that moon in grounding Taurus, and uh, the sun will start to trine up to Chiron. Nothing major with this, but um, this sort of self-expression can actually be quite healing and therapeutic. There is some supportive energy with the healing comet of Chiron this week, and so it could be a good day of expressing herself in a way that feels healing, um, and uh, expressing herself in the face of any wounds can be quite therapeutic here as well and this is the time that mercury does start to shift into expressive leo so the communications do start and our minds do start to go into the more um, playful um, light-hearted um, you know uh, fun loving side of things to join up where venus and mars have already been so we're starting to think this way and i think it is just good to get into more of that uh, fire energy having fun creative energy um, with just our everyday life, really, with Mercury. All right, and then once we do get to the Thursday time period, the moon will start to shift into Gemini, and we'll be here for both Thursday and Friday. Gemini is all about communication. It's all about learning. I think these are great days for doing that, a little bit of exchanging, relating with others, um, picking up that book, maybe doing some reading or some writing, um, getting into that mental and communicative energy uh, those two days, uh, Thursday and Friday. Now, once we do get to the Friday time, that's where we come back to some of this more uh, challenging energy with erratic Uranus, and in this case with the sun, which usually is a little bit more fundamental to our personality. So again, mindfulness is very important, I would say collectively, just to make sure again, there isn't anything over or under extreme with that sense of wanting to break free. Sometimes there can be with these squares to Uranus, a little bit of nervous energy, a little bit of um, you know kind of irritability, um, or just the nerves are you know, kind of uh, spiced up. So um, anything that does help calm the mind, calm the self a little bit, um, and have new experiences that are uh, challenging our self constructively, I think is great. Uranus always calls us to have new and different experiences and to do things we normally wouldn't do and get outside that comfort zone. So any intentions that you can set around uh, healthfully mixing things up, challenging your own comfort zone, challenging your own status quo, and the, the status quo in constructive ways, again, is fundamentally what Uranus is helping us do. So any intentions around change, around listening to our excitement, getting outside the comfort zone in healthy ways could be actually a very constructive week uh, for this type of uh, transit. All right, and then once we do get to the Saturday time period, uh, we will have Cancer, the moon in Cancer. And this is where, really where we start to end the current cycle. And um, it really is the approaching the lowest energy phase of the lunar month. So over the weekend, good to maybe do some inward things um, with the moon and cancer, maybe finalize some things around creating that protective environment for ourselves and others usually makes a good time for connecting with um, you know, spending time at home or maybe with family or those we're close to emotionally and just getting our own private time, especially in the balsamic phase. Again, it's more of the winter 
phase of the month, if you will. And so good to turn inward a little bit and complete things from the previous cycle and maybe do some releasing and some clearing um, if there is anything like that to gear up for what will be the new beginning. Because on uh, Sunday, we'll have the new moon. And this is going to be right on the cusp between Cancer and Leo, but closer to Leo. And so um, it will be a whole new cycle in, regard, in regards to our self-expression. Uh, getting into, again, that playful, uh, creative, expressive side of ourself. Uh, having some fun, maybe hobbies, interests, right? We've already been, again, experiencing a little bit of that already with Venus, Mars, and now we start the whole new lunar cycle around that. Um, I'll, of course, make a separate video on this, so do stay tuned for that. But um, the new moon will be squaring Uranus again, so finding the healthy way of that uh, uh, self-expression and healthy way of... Uh, listening to that uh, change that we are after with Uranus. An opposition to Saturn very slightly, so maybe just some uh, patience, seeing things in the long road, and uh, a conjunction to Mercury, maybe some new beginnings with uh, the whole learning and communication sphere. But this is quite minor since Mercury is usually pretty close to the sun like this. But most important thing is a fresh new beginning with our self-expression. All right, everyone. So that is the week in a nutshell. Most important thing is ending this current lunar cycle. It is a time of completion, especially as we approach the weekend, finalizing, clearing, uh, making space for those new beginnings. Uh, but uh, the early part of the week, great for some of that resourcefulness, steadiness, um, finding constructive ways of Again, having a bit of freedom and change and getting outside that comfort zone constructively pretty much all week there. And uh, yeah, and then as we do go through the week, these planets will be starting to shift into Leo, gearing up for the new moon around letting that inner child out to express ourselves, have some fun, do the things we love, connect with the people we love and, you know, let out some of that self-expression. Uh, could be a fantastic way of working with this whole new lunar cycle around the corner. All right, so everyone have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click the like button if you're watching this on YouTube. And of course, these videos are released first for MTZ Insiders. So if you're not yet signed up, there is a link down below on YouTube in the uh, pinned comment where you can uh, sign up for MTZ Insiders. It's absolutely free. Just type in your email and you'll get these videos released uh, three or four days before uh, the week. But uh, yeah, have a great week, everyone. Thank you again for all of your support. And I'll see you all next time for the next Sidereal Astrology Forecast. Take care.